हेलो क्लास वेलकम टू डिजिटल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स क्लास हेलो क्लास सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू रीड अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ डिजिटल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स दैट इज ए सिंक्रोनस रिपल काउंटर और सीरियल काउंटर सो एज यू रिमेम्बर इन द प्रीवियस क्लास आई हैव टोल्ड यू व्हाट इज ए सिंक्रोनस काउंटर इन ए सिंक्रोनस काउंटर वी आर गिविंग क्लॉक पल्स ओनली टू द फर्स्ट फ्लिप फ्लॉप एंड टू द अदर फ्लिप फ्लॉप द क्लॉक पल्स इज गोइंग फ्रॉम द आउटपुट ऑफ द प्रीवियस फ्लिप फ्लॉप ओके सी टू दिस फ्लिप फ्लॉप द आउटपुट द क्लॉक पल्स इज गोइंग फ्रॉम द आउटपुट ऑफ दिस Again to this clock pulse is going from the output of this. Again to this one, it is going from this. Okay, so see in this way, you uh, in this way you know that it is an asynchronous counter. Okay, now let us see that how it will operate. So you, if you see the diagram carefully, I have taken your J K flip flop. Okay, so you can check J K flip flop or you can take T flip flop. So why we are taking J K or T flip flop because it is having the toggle operation and that operation is basically used to count the digits or to count the sequences. Okay, so now let us start its operation. So you see carefully in every flip flop there is a negative edge triggering. Okay, so this is the symbol for edge and this is for this bubble is for negative. So whenever there will be A fall from one to zero. Okay, whenever the clock pulse will change from one to zero, then only the flip flops will be triggered. Okay, this is the first important thing. Now, next important thing is this clock pulse is important for the first flip flop. Means the output will change in the first flip flop when there will be a transition in the clock pulse, and the output of the second flip flop will change. not because of this clock pulse but because of the change in the output of the first flip flop similarly the output of this flip flop will change when the output of this flip flop will change so okay so it is since it is changing step by step so it is like a ripple so that is why it is called as a ripple counter so suppose in the initial condition my flip flops were at 0 0 okay so it was 0 Zero, zero, zero. Okay. So if suppose if in the initial condition all the flip flops were in zero, zero. So suppose when the first transition will happen. So then what will happen in the first transition? The uh, the transition of this clock pulse will change. So automatically it will change into one and it will change into one because I have connected this with plus VCC. Okay. So when it will be one one, so what was my previous output? My previous output was zero. So what is the operation of your JK flip flop? It is the toggle operation. So previous output complement means it will be one. Okay. So whenever there will be a change in the clock pulse, the output will change. So first let us draw the output of the first flip flop in this timeline diagram. So initially, so I will write here Q A for the first flip flop. So initially, uh, up to this, the what was the output? It was zero. Okay. Then after that, in the after the first transition means when it was changing from zero one to zero, then it became high. Okay. Then again in the second flip flop pulse, again it changed. Okay. Then again in the third flip flop pulse, okay, it will be like this. So. In this way, you have to draw the output of the first flip flop. Okay, so let us draw it. So see, I have drawn. So whenever there is a transition, there is a change in the output of the Q A. Again, here is what see. So it was, it has changed from one to zero. Again, it has changed from zero to one. So this is the changes in the output of the first flip flop. Now, in the second flip flop. the output will change according to this transition not according to this transition okay so again let us draw qb so when this will change means when this will change from high to low okay from high to low then the output of qb will change and it will not change according to the clock pulse okay so now let us see so again qb will change so initial condition it was zero So at this point it will change. Okay, then it will be one up to this much. Then again at this point it will change. Okay, then again it will change at this point. So let us draw. 
Okay, so like this. So it is changing according to the QA and not according to the okay. So again uh, I will draw QC output. So QC will change according to QB and not according to QA or uh, your clock input. Okay. So whenever there will be a transition from 0 to from 1 to 0 because it is negative as triggered. So QC will change. So again let us draw QC. So initial for it was 0. So again it will change. So again it will change at this point, again it will change at this point and again it will change at this point. Okay. So let us again draw QD. Okay. So again QD will change according to QC. It will not change according to QB, QA or the input. So here there is a transition and here there is a transition. So it will change only at these points so here it will change and here it will change ok so after this I am not drawing because after this again the same thing will repeat ok again the same thing will repeat so only up to 16 I have drawn ok so now let us write the table from this. So you make a table like this. Write down state QD, QC, QB and QA. So these are the outputs of all the flip flops. So let us start with the 0th state. Ok so 0th state means before this. So at this state what was the value of QA, QB, QC, QD? It was 0, 0, 0 and 0. Ok. Now in the first stage means in the first clock pulse. So see what was the output? So in the first clock pulse, QA was 1, then QB was 0, it was 0 and it was 0. So 0, 0, 0, 1. So QD I have written first, so 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay. Now again see Q2. So, so again in the second clock, clock pulse, it will be 0, 0, 1, 0 because it is coming from 1 to 0. So it will be 0. 0, 1, 0. Now I see the third clock pulse. So in the third clock pulse it is how much? It is 0. Then again it is 0. Then it is high. So it is 1. And it is also high because it has gone up. So it is 1. So 0, 0, 1, 1. Okay. So 0, 0, 1, 1. Okay. So similarly you have to see this and you have to write down the values. So next will be how much? So it is 0, it has changed from 0 to 1, so it will be 1, it is coming down, so it will be 0, it will be 0, so 0, 1, 0, 0. So it will be 0, 1, 0, 0. So you see it is coming in proper sequence. So similarly you have to write down the values till 15. So let us write it down. So this is a table that you should get. Okay. So if you see in the timeline diagram also, we have written... So see QA equals to 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So it was 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 like this. Then again we have got the next sequences. And you see in all the timeline diagram after this. Okay after this 15th one in the 16th state all the QA, QB and QC, QD all are going to 0, 0, 0. Means again it will repeat. Okay so similarly. We will count only up to 15 then after that again it will go to 0, 0, 0, 0. So this is how you design a simple ripple serial counter, asynchronous counter and this is how you have to design it. Okay. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any suggestions or any doubt, you can put it in the comment line.